Hi guys, Vikas over here and this is your genius. Guys, today we are going to check out this little board over here. That is the Omega 2. That is by Onion Corporation. And with this, I have got one expansion dock for the Omega 2. In this video, we are going to check out the features provided by this Omega 2 board. And we will see how to get started with this. So let's first open up the expansion port over here. And this is uh, the expansion board for the Omega 2. And the Omega 2 plugs over here. And this lets you uh, like expose the GPIOs of your Omega 2. And one thing is whenever you are going to buy the Omega 2, make sure you buy some expansion dock as this provides the usb out or the usb port with reset button power button and the most important thing is the onboard power regulator that lets you power the onion omega 2 by using 5 volt otherwise you need to have a 3.3 volt stable supply for the omega 2 and on the board we get one rgb led that is connected to gpio 15 16 and 17 of the omega 2 along with that we get one USB 2 port and one micro USB slot that is used for debugging and console and that connects with a USB 2 watt bridge that is the CP2102 which lets you connect to Omega 2 by using the serial interface and with that we have got one power button that lets you make the Omega 2 on or off and we get a reset button that lets you reset the Omega 2 along with when you hold the reset button for 10 seconds that lets you make the omega 2 into factory reset mode and over here you get the pin mapping for each pin of the exposed gpios so that lets uh, that makes easier to connect to particular gpio according to your application and all and coming onto the omega 2 board so let's open it up first this is a tiny little IoT development board which you can say kind of server or which is called as the smallest Linux server and this features inbuilt Wi-Fi and Ethernet support and coming onto the processor and the memory it has got 580 MHz processor along with 64 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of onboard storage if you are going for Omega 2 plus that has got 64 MB of uh, RAM and 32 MB of flash and here the Omega 2 plus has one SD card slot at the back end which the Omega 2 doesn't feature and along with you get 15 GPIOs, 2 UART ports, 1 SPI, 1 I2C and 1 I2C port on the board and if you are looking for some other interfaces you can definitely go for the add-on boards and remember one thing whenever you are using omega 2 the pins are not 5 volt tolerant so your peripheral has to compatible with 3.3 volt only if you are going to supply 5 volt to the omega 2 it might damage your processor or the omega 2 port itself and this little board lets you run various programming languages like c++ node.js python and php etc but uh, you need to install the required firmware to run particular programming languages and that has to be again supported by the memory that is available on your board so for let's say for example you want to run node.js that takes around 13 or 12 mb of flash that you need to provide to run and this board on hardware side this has got nothing else because everything the processor and all are covered by this rf shield and all and you get one antenna connector over here so if you are not using the onboard antenna or you want to like extend range or more coverage with this board you can use some high gain antennas to the antenna connector and you also get one LED that shows the power and status and all so nothing over here so let's connect this to the expansion dock and we'll connect it to PC and we'll try to run some example codes yeah this goes like this actually yeah uh, so the Omega 2 goes like this onto the expansion dock and over here find a image that is showing how to plug the Omega 2 onto the expansion dock. So now let's plug one USB cable 
and let's make it on yeah you can see over here the LED is glowing as well as the onboard LED this and this RGB LED over here on the expansion dock is connected to GPIO 15, 16 and 17 as I said earlier so guys after connecting your Omega 2 to the PC or any power supply your Omega 2 gets into the access point mode where you can connect it to it and you can configure the Omega 2 to work so after plugging in and roughly waiting for one minute you can see something like Omega hyphen some numbers or digits over here that is the last four digits are the last four digits of your Mac ID of your Omega 2 now you can access your Omega 2 from your PC if you have connected your Omega 2 directly to USB of your PC by two ways you can connect it to directly by using the Wi-Fi network as it is already in the access point mode to get it configured or using the serial console if you are using some docks that support USB to UART bridge like over here I am what I am using so it has onboard USB to UART bridge so I can have both those options I can connect it to by in like using Wi-Fi or I can connect it to by using the serial interface uh, so before connecting it to it or getting started with configuration and all using the Wi-Fi mode we need to install something onto our system that is the bonjour service as windows doesn't have it by default if you are using linux or mac you don't need to install this service as over here i am using windows only i just need to install it to my system and from this support.apple.com i just need to download this one and uh, you just need to install it I've I have actually already installed it so I'll skip this and after that just connect to your Wi-Fi of your Omega 2 access point and the default key is 1234567 click on OK open up your browser get into the link omega hyphen then same the last four digits of mag id of omega 2 that is e7 a7 for me and this might be different for you and you need to type in dot local and it will open up something like the configuration wizard or setup wizard for onion omega 2 so go ahead click on start put username that is root and password is onion here that's the default one if you are, you are interested you can definitely change it choose your wifi network and i was trying with different security uh, like credentials but it was not working so i made my router into non security mode let's see if it works uh, now after that you will see something like register device on cloud you can do this or you can just skip I am just going to skip it for now okay I'm uh, this is like a cloud or okay I'll install the console it is right now downloading the latest firmware so just wait till it get finished
now we have successfully updated our omega 2 so let's once again navigate to the same ip or you can simply refresh the page and if everything goes right you will see something like this enter user username that is root and the password onion here and uh, you can simply see something like this so these are the different options that you get that is gpio tool oled control if you are having oled or add on board terminal settings editor webcam then if you are having relay board you can use this and you can have pwm control so let's try out pwm so you can change like this so you need to have add-on for these things so i am not going to check out that so over here let's try to access the onboard led or the rgb led that is present on the expansion dock so to do that get into gpio tool and over here select omega 2 layout instead of the default board layout and you can select the pins that is 15 16 and 17 for the rgb led respectively for the onboard led so let's say you select the pin number 15 and as the led is low active so you need to provide zero to make it on so let's make this zero you need to get it output make it zero and you can see the blue led is glowing so i think 17 is for r 16 is for g and 15 is for blue so let's check again let's say you make pin number 17 output and as you can see the blue as well as the red led is, has started glowing so let's say do same for the pin number 16 And you can see all three LEDs are going that is producing near white color. So you can just try out other things by yourself and you can check out all other options over here. You can access the terminal. The terminal app is right now not installed and you can install it. And you can again check out other options like editors and all by yourself so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching i hope i'll be coming with more videos around this board and and i hope you have liked this video if so please hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed yet you can definitely subscribe to my channel so see you next time with my next video till then goodbye